voice gets to disappear. A cat got out. I'm trying to get it in. We don't know how he got out. I think he got out in that hole. Well, I knew they were coming. I, I think I think he got out in that hole. He could jump up there. Did that to my new hole. Isn't that terrible? They'll have the whole house down soon. Yeah. We'll be raided again. We'll be raided again by the village of East Hampton. You know, they can get you in East Hampton for, for wearing red shoes on a Thursday and all that sort of thing. I don't know whether you know that. I mean, do you know that? They can get you for almost anything. It's the Maisel. Hi, Edie. The gentleman Collins. I saw your car. One of my, one of my cats just Edie, ducked out. Edie, you look out. fantastic. David, you look absolutely terrific. Honestly, you got like you've got like glue on. Well, Al, you're still. Uh, Mother says you're very conservative. <laughs> <laughs> Brooks, everything looks wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. This is the best thing to wear for the day. You understand. Yeah. Because I don't like women in skirts. And the best thing is to wear pantyhose or some pants under a short skirt, I think. Then you have the pants under the skirt. And then you can pull the stockings up over the pants underneath the skirt. Mm -hmm. And you can always take off the skirt and use it as a cape. So I think this is the best costume for the day. Okay. <laughs> I have to think these things up, you know. Mother wanted me to come out in a kimono, so we had quite a fight. So what did you do? Photograph Brooks cutting right down here? Yeah, I think through the jungle. Oh, for goodness sake. What do you want to do now? Where do you want to go? Upstairs? Uh, you want to go up on and photograph it from the top porch? Okay. 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 I, they're going to photograph from the top now, Brooks. Beautiful garden back here. You see the wall garden? Oh, you mean the patio? Yeah. You mean this? Oh, uh, that's a Spanish wall garden Where's over that? there, oh. you know. Oh, yes. The Hills put that in. They imported everything from Rome. Mrs. Hill, she was a famous uh, horticulturist. That was one of the famous gardens of America. Brooks, next summer, if we're all living, I think a vegetable garden would be a good thing in here. Yeah, we get no sunlight in here. Yeah, Mother says she doesn't mind if you have to cut down some uh, privet for the garden. It'd be nice. Yeah. Because food's going up. We heard that on the radio last night. Do you think my costume looked all right for Brooks? I think he was a little amazed. He's probably seen it before. No, no, this is the revolutionary costume. I never. He seems okay. He seems like he can handle it. You can't be too careful. You know what I mean? 
was the original living room. You know, we we'll we'll go back to a kitchen now. Though the washing machine was always put in the maid's dining room. You know, the wash tubs are in the maid's dining room. Let's go up. It's very difficult to keep the line between the past and the present. Do you know what I mean? It's awfully difficult. It's a beautiful ocean today, isn't it? What color would you say that was, sort of sapphire? I've never seen anything like that ocean. The 50 years I've been here, the best in 50 years. Oh, Edie? Are you around? Oh, Edie! Oh, God, damn horrible place in two years. God, if you knew how I felt, I'm ready to kill. Well, uh, Brooks wants his... His uh, check, mother darling. Oh, He's at the, the door. I told you I should do it now. Twenty-four ago. bucks for three cuttings. Just a minute. I bring told. Uh, you better bring uh, the pen. I locked all the cats away. Don't be so mean. They don't want to be locked away. The poor little kitties. You know kitties. Door son. I suppose I won't get out of here till she dies or I die. Who is she? I don't know when I'm going to get out of here. Well, why do you want to get out? One another place would be Because I don't worse. like it. Any place would be yeah. much worse. Any place on earth. Yeah, but I like freedom. Well, you can't get it, darling. You're being supported. You can't get any freedom yeah, but... when you're being supported. You can't? No, you can't. That's... I think you're not free when you're not being supported. You have to tell them off. It's awful both ways, honestly. Well, you don't look it. You look very young for 56 years of age. Don't you remember what you told me now? I don't know. I just like a couple of days on what the beach. What was it you told me? That That's all. 24 bucks. You don't have to scream that out. When are you going to learn, Edie? You're in this world, you know. You're not out of the world. Uh, see if I can remember the date. Is it the 12th today? Well, there are certain compensations, I Is guess. Is it the 12th today? The old woman, she has to remember everything, you know. I think this is correct. Brooks Hires, H-I-E-R-S. -E oh, I didn't think it was necessary. Yes. Why don't you let me do this in the house for? Why do you make me do it here? I think you don't have enough clothes on. Well, I hope I'm going to get naked in just a minute, so you better watch out. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, for what? Now, why? I haven't got any warts on me. But the movie, the movie. I haven't got any warts that on me. That isn't the point, Mother Darling. Oh, yeah, you know where you got being like that? No husband, no babies, nothing. Well, I can't help it. I like to wear certain things. Is that H-Y-E-R? She likes everything. H-Y? Without girdles. H-Y, Edie? Oh, H-I. H-Y-E-R-S. H-Y? Yeah. She and Marjorie McQuillan don't believe in wearing girdles. Uh, I haven't worn a girdle since uh, I was 12 David. years old. Here you Mother are. Mother has certain ideas about death. Certainly have certain about ideas clothes. about living a long time. Well, I got ideas about. It's very hard to live nowadays. Living is very difficult. The Libra husband is not an easy man to please. The monotony of domesticity is not to his liking, but he is a passionate man and a respecter of tradition. All I have to do is find this Libra man. The Libra husband is reasonable. He is a born judge, and no other zodiacal type can order his life with so much wisdom. That's all I need, order. That's all I need, an ordered life, you know, a manager. But he's got to be a Libra. Oh, yeah. Sounds like Jerry. Oh, is that Jerry? For goodness' sake. <laughs> what are you doing? Jerry, you're uh, you're Aquarius, aren't you? That's what I saw when I met you, Jerry. 
Remember I said the marble form? It was yeah. terrible. Terrible, the tragedy connected with the marble form. You know, I Daniel. called Jerry the marble form. Nathaniel Hawthorne. Yeah. yeah. You have that book here, Edie? I haven't been able to find it. If you run across it, I'd like to read it. It's very deep. I don't know whether you... Well, I guess you're up to it. They used to have it on all the... Uh, I think it was on the high school reading list. Marble form. The Libra husband does not seek divorce unless the conditions of his life are not adjustable. I don't believe in divorce at all. I think divorce... Was your mother divorced? I know. No. Separated. Yes. Wow. And then my father got a got a fake Mexican divorce and he did have, you know, what he called another wife that we didn't recognize. It wasn't recognized by the Catholic Church. They don't recognize it, you know. So are you are you bossing me around, Edie, all afternoon? I think that's terrific. Oh, Edie, it's not the best one. This is the worst one of my wedding pictures. The others look worse. I just want to be a singer, you know, a professional singer. I met Mr. Bill and the jig was up. You remember this? May I see that, please? The villain of the piece. To my best friend and most delightful comrade, to my only sweetheart and wonderful wife, I tender this likeness of her husband. Bill and Bill, 1929. But we did love each other. Did I laugh when I read that? Aren't kids terrible? I just roared. And the people don't speak. They never get divorced. Yeah, you, know, you just I'm can't very tell. Very woman all my life. So I tell them about Gould. Gould was mother's accompanist. He was a boogie woogie composer who had the most terrific style. He was the most brilliant man I've ever met. That's including Mr. Beale and Mr. Bouvier. Completely brilliant. This cute mother. Well, oh, I've got very stole. much, don't you, David? You said Mich the other. You said thing. Michelle Beale stole this, didn't you? Edith? He never did. She never did that. See how fat I look? You did. Did I look like a good mother? Was I a good mother? Mm, it looks what? like it. Looks I look like it. it. I didn't starve my children, did I? Why? Fed them, fed them well. But they were very nice children. I enjoyed them tremendously. I'm crazy about my two sons. Absolutely mad about them. Who's the little girl? That's, That's me. Well, the boys were, were not hard to handle at all. It was very easy to Oh, handle. my mother never saw my brothers. Saw them every minute, every single Oh, they day. never got any discipline, my brothers. They didn't need it. They were they absolutely never got perfect. Any I'm taking the tiny little Kodak number two. That was. Kodak number two cost two dollars. Mother, I'm mad about these pictures of you. Oh, no, don't take those. We'll just put them on. No, right no, I here. want those, Al. Will you give me those, please? No, can't. No, I, I want them, Edie. I will never see them again. No. No, I want those pictures. I want those pictures, Edie. Can't expose them to the light. No, here. you give me those pictures. Oh, and I don't want to ask 67 times. Come on. I want to show that to Al. Oh, no, I want to show I it to Al. I want to show picture. it to Al. Look what you made me do. Oh, well, you did it. Al. Look what you did. Classic. I want you to Look see this. Look at what you did. Very few people have this, Al. I want you to see this. Now, look. <laughs> this is my mother. It, there's British blood, maybe Jewish. I don't know. Believe in family, not sure. I don't want that photo. Scotch blood. The Ewing, Imagine you're showing all those horrible things clans, that I don't want to show. The Ewing clans in there. But it's just a girl from a good French family. It's a very beautiful face. I lived alone these 30 years. I, I didn't mind. You get very independent when you live alone. You get to be a real individual. You can't have your cake and eat it. Oh, yes, I did. In life. I did. I had my cake, loved it, masticated it, chewed it, and had everything you can't have I your cake wanted. And eat it too. I had a very, you very can't. happy, satisfying life. When you had a rich husband, you should have stayed with him. Now you might but as well money? face it. She was bored. She couldn't stand. Well, I was not. I was a great singer. I had a perfect marriage. Beautiful children. Terribly successful marriage. I never had a fight in my life. I never threw anything, Mr. Bill. 
Yeah. They threw the bull around, as they say. No, I never had any words with Mr. Beale at all. I came down here to live in this, in this house because I did all my singing here. I was so happy. I was happier going out and singing than anything I've ever done since I was born. I liked it better than anything I ever did. Can't find it, woman. Well, let me help you. Let me listen, kid. I'm extremely organized. I know exactly where to look for this stuff. I got it under control right here, but I can't find it. Get it? Well, bring in the bring in the uh, the orchestration of T for two. I can't do it. My feet hurt. Just try, babe, they're, they're beautiful. I have to get my voice exactly back the way it was when I was 45 years old. You can't, Mother Dewey. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, Something yes. happens, let's I face it. I never strain my voice ever no, but, in my life. Oh, I strain my I voice. Never. I'm never. yelling and screaming. Cigarettes. What is the matter oh, with me? No. I can never speak again. Well, get it back in about a month. It's about it. You know, good hard work. We go together, together. Gould and Mother made this record in 1934. He was Mother's accomplice. Cadenza, cadenza, Could whatever I be you in call love? it. Do you want that? Aren't you mad about your record? I was very serious about my singing. Loved it. After you get out, you realize nothing is important. No, it isn't. Nothing. Well, my mother, you know, she gave me the right slant on my voice. She told me to leave everything. No she man could compete against Mrs. Beale and Gould. We were pretty No good. man in the world. Well, I worked hard. I wish you would play Laura. I think she's bothering about anything when she had a talent like that. Well, I'd take care of this house. I lived on no money. You were able to save the house on account of me. Yeah, I think I didn't want to live in East Hampton, but I had to on account of Mother's house. Well, now you see why you lived, because you had music all the time. That's why. And you went to the beach, too. What you like? Yeah, those are the only things. Oh, I think you liked your dancing. You were very good at that. This is hot Did you see the, uh, the play on Broadway? No, no, no. T for two and two for T and me for you and you for me alone. Heroes to see us, or heroes, no friends or relations, on weekend vacations. You won't have it known, dear, that we own a telephone now. I'll awake and start to bake a sugar cake for you to take, mm, for all the boys to see. A family, a girl for you, a boy for me. Oh, can't you see how happy we could be? Tea for two. Is Edie was any good? The soft shoe now. If she's any good at all, it's all soft shoe now. You know, this is a dance. Come on, Edie. <laughs> I I used to do it myself. You know, I did that. The soft shoe. 
Dancing? No. no. I do terrific dances. Only care about three things the Catholic Church, swimming, and dancing. And I had to give them up. I've got enough. I almost died with the fleas in this place. I can't go on another year. I have to get to a hotel room. Well, I told you, I have bought, I bought a lot of stuff for your fleas, and I'll be more than willing to put it down. All I want is a little room. First place, it makes me terribly nervous. I'm scared to death of doors, locks, people well, roaming around in the background, under the trees, in the bushes. I'm absolutely terrified. I'm not a bit terrified of the city. Not a bit. I like the terrible noise you hear at night and all these terrible drilling sounds. I'm never, I never go to sleep unless the whole pavement is jumping outside and it's 100 degrees and that drill is just going ah, 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 ah. and then I just go to sleep. <laughs> I only hope it stays up. The balalaika. I haven't got my makeup on. God, you think it's not stay. I feel something slipping. have to listen to Peel in about five seconds. <laughs> he doesn't like the Catholic Church. Oh, gets very mad on. Right what now. the hell? I worship the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. I'm going to invite Father Huntington over to spend the whole entire night oh, with me. Oh, That's what I'm going to do. I love the church so much. <laughs> Here it is. Get on top of things and stay there. Or if you do not do this, it is very likely that things will get on top of you. Isn't he terrific? And since I always believe in a simple formula that is workable, I have a formula for you now. First, try, really try. Try, really try. Second, think. Really think. Cute think. Really and think. third, believe. Really believe. Well, you may say, how many times do I have to try? Well, it may be a good many times. For example, I have in my pocket here a letter from a man in London, England. Dear Dr. Peel, over three years ago, I was in your great marble collegiate church for the first time, and I was having it rough. The job I'd been doing had come to an end, and I was 55. What? Your security oh, hey, lived with me, plus yeah. the advice to try, really try, lived, I think, have a lived. really think, believe, really believe. I did think, I did work, 
very hard to find a job. Eighty-eight interviews. So did he or did he not get the job? He did. Will he or will he not handle himself in the years that are to come? He wasn't emotional. He didn't get upset. He wasn't nervous. It wasn't me. He was cool. Now, one thing is sure. The human mind will not function when it is hot. Only when it is cool and dispassionate. Dispassionate. That's will it the word produce. I wanted the other day. I couldn't think of what it was. I think it would be a good idea if every day, every individual would look at himself in the mirror earnestly and ask the question, who am I? Am I a weak person? Am I a defeated person? Am I an inferior person? Not at all. I am a child of God, and I was intended to get on top of things, and I was intended to stay there. Very good. That was very long. Very long. And I was having my on and on and on. Let's hear the prayer. I mean the song. Will you sing the song now? Doc Salinger. Sing it. You have been listening to Dr. Norman Vincent Field as he spoke this morning from his book. No emotionalism. Never give up. You want to keep on top. Way more high up on top. Wonderful way to smother somebody. Did you pass your, your mirror over here? <laughs> I've got to see what I look like. <laughs> Don't drop it. <laughs> I'm that you. was wonderful. I see why yeah. I got cataracts. I have stigmatism, one eye pulled against the other, and I should have worn glasses, and I didn't. Oh, I told you to wear glasses. Do anything else you want to know? You got me the glasses back four years ago. I'll tell you about ago. my teeth. Four years ago, Edie. You got the glasses, you didn't wear them. My teeth are still on. You have to wear glasses when you when you have any trouble. You have to. <laughs> and my hair will grow, I hope, here. You dress for battle, Edie. Mother's telling Marjorie how spoiled I am, how terrible I am. And Marjorie knew my father and my uncle. And Mother's giving her all this SHIT, so I went and told some things about the family. But you see, in dealing with me, the relatives didn't know that they were dealing with a staunch character. And I tell you, if there's anything worse than a staunch woman, S-T-A-U-N-C-H. There's nothing worse, I'm telling you. They don't weaken. No matter what. But they didn't know that. Well, how would they to know? You know, my father had made up his mind about what Farmington produced, what the Sacred Heart Convent produced. I don't think he was so down on the spent school. But he certainly was down on Farmington. I don't know why. Farmington was a junior college. You could choose what you wanted to study. Perhaps that was what made my father dislike it so that I could choose. But I, cho I chose what I thought he'd want me to, to choose. You know, English literature and uh, Oriental philosophies. And uh, well, I always took French, but nothing ever happened there. I can read and write in French, but I can't speak it. I had years and years and years of, of French. Terrible. <laughs> This was taken by Amy DuPont that my last year in Farmington. I was 17. Edie, that's so beautiful. Mr. Wainwright did that. He was an artist from a very good family. He was in the social register. He did it in, in the solarium of Grey Gardens. Yeah, look at this. I was at a fashion show. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh, man. beautiful. Look at that there. May I see that? Wow, look at the shirt. I thought it was a cat's pajamas in that. Let me see it, Edie. <laughs> see how pretty Edie was when she was young? 
It's perfectly foolish of her not to look that way now. She could, you know. She didn't worry about everything. And she looked like a girl that had everything. Hmm? This is inspiring. I get another brown tailored yeah. suit and grow my hair. <laughs> you know, you my God! <laughs> I have no hair. Never put any lipstick on for this picture, did you? Have another kind. Of you one. look horrible. Why didn't you put lipstick and makeup on? Mr. Beale smashed the window of Bert Bachrock when he put this in the window on Upper Madison Avenue. For God's sake. He offered me a job. He didn't say to get out of that family situation, but he said, you need a job, Miss Beale. Didn't you expect that Edie might get married someday? Oh, I did. I wanted to. I too. Oh, I picked out some nice men. She didn't like the men I picked out. Oh, horrible. She could have married this Gerald Gettys. He was a millionaire, gave her a gorgeous ring. She decided not to marry that guy. She had to give the ring back. I mean, awful. She had a, a proposal of marriage from Paul Gettys. Remember Paul? Uh -huh. The richest man in the world. He married Teddy Lynch. Then you could have married Jordan McClanahan. He was another millionaire. He wanted to marry you. She just didn't want to get married. That's all blamed on me. No, I never fell in love when I was 31. But how old are you in these pictures? 24. 24, that old? 1940. Very young looking, but 24. Yeah. France had just fallen to Hitler. But you never fell Paris, for a man. Paris, excuse me. France fell, but Edie didn't fall. That was the thing. See, I, we, they didn't tell us that when we studied World War I, that everything was so awful with the Versailles Treaty that we were soon going to get into something. Four years after I got out, if I'd only known it, I would have just, just enjoyed every single minute, just done everything. It must have been tough for people. I remember as a kid, so many loved ones uh, being killed. But you were the dating age. A lot of my friends went overseas and got married. They went in the Red Cross. They went to India, Australia. They all got married. One of my best friends went to Australia. If I'd been able to go, she might have persuaded me to go with her. And she met somebody in the hospital. She was working for the Red Cross, and she never came back to New York. But I never had a chance to do anything like that, because Mother wasn't well during the war. She had her eye operation. I missed out on everything. I missed out on the reunion of my graduating class in Farmington, because that was the fall that Jack Kennedy campaigned to get in. And I was stuck here with Mother the Cats, the house, and T. Logan, and I couldn't go. No, you said you, you said you didn't want them to know how class. old you were, you said. No, I think well, I, I didn't want them to know my age, says Edie. No, I would have enjoyed that, Mother, because Jack Kennedy campaigned to get in and won. Get yeah, in the Farmington School, that'd be a good place for him. I don't know. I think it would have been a lot of fun. Yeah, everything's good that you didn't do. At the time, you didn't want it. I couldn't get away. Well, you, that's the choice. You can't go back and say, feel gorgeous yeah, right I now, and say, I, oh, why didn't I, I do this? Leave. Because you didn't feel then the way you do now. Everybody thinks and feels differently as the years go by, don't they? Yeah. Yes. What time is it, chickens? What time is it? It's uh, I'm gonna go 1 30. Now. I may need David's hand to get up. You have it. Where is it? Can you come around this way? Sure. Are you taking pictures? Always. Here. Yeah. Two roads diverged in yellow wood and pondering, pondering both or pondering each. Pondering one, I took the other. And that made all the difference. Robert Frost. Isn't that wonderful? Did he say that? That's all you need, just three Come lines on, like that. Come on, is that Robert Frost? Who else? Two I roads you. I think you're poor diverged though. in yellow wood. Come on, you said that. We want something And else. pondering one, Ooh, I lady. took the you other. Go. You're not teaching And us. that made all we the difference. We don't want to learn it. It's very pretty. Isn't that uh, amazing? No, I don't think it's half as good as your point. He looks the same, and he probably couldn't tell, and yet he... I wish I could remember the correct line.
exhausted. I danced eight hours last night practicing the uh, the marching song. Right. My God, my muscles! I can't do it. I'm telling you, what am I gonna do? They're gone with this soft life. <laughs> <laughs> We all march together for love is behind. We all stand together, united we die. All march together for we love the land. It's the spirit of the MI. We all march together for life is the song. <laughs> when they do that, that's when the plane goes by, see? So I'm doing the VMI marching song, which is a ground maneuver. Anyway, I gotta get it all coordinated in my mind. Hey, Mother, I'm working on my skin. Oh, you see, she doesn't want to eat anymore for about fat, so I have to sit in the star ball. How can I eat? Not I think I lost. Too. I lost five pounds. Die. Well, don't live with me. I want to eat. Wow. Will you eat some liver pate? You can't. It's not awfully good. It is. You put lemon with it, so. I may die with this diet. I don't like it at all. Don't do it. Have a sandwich. I, I think got you... fat not wearing clothes for two years. Oh, that wasn't it. It all was the quarts and quarts of ice cream. My bill was $171 just for ice cream. Make sure little liver. You have to make it. I can't do it. No, I can't. I, I ate in front of the Maisels the other day. You have to make it. I was very embarrassed. No. I ate what all I that that's chicken. Oh, well, I should have stolen that blue. Take it out, babe. You like the green? That's your there. What do I do with this? You have crackers somewhere. I put on crackers. Yeah, you should, you, it, it needs a, a lemon or mayonnaise or something. When am I going to get out of here? <laughs> oh, she's always talking like that. <laughs> I get oh, your, no. You're never gonna get me I'm, back to East Town. Oh, that's true. Ever. Oh, Edie, that is it. Edie, the man is doing this, for goodness sake. I that's get terrible. New York, brother, I'm not ever going Well, you back got in awful this. trouble there. It's a good thing you had a place to come to. Recuperated mamas for about 15, 20 years. She had a horrible time. I used to have to send her big boxes of groceries. She was starving. For my grocery thing. I was disgusted. Right? So big box of groceries. I, I need a treat. And I always put a bottle of wine in a bag. I thought she'd have a terrible accident. I, I, I was disgusted. But, but. Oh, well, I wouldn't say uh, anything good happened to you in New York. Are you kidding? No. I was discovered by Mr. Gordon. Okay. He was a friend of Mrs. Well, what is it? I, people discover what me every time shopping? I go out, but I don't what think I, this was I don't very think anything of it. He went to pieces, Mr. Max Gordon. Oh, no, not Max Gordon. He never went to pieces in his life. He did. <laughs> he did not. Very now, what was the woman's me. name? She gave me the letter. Mrs. Oh, Hitchcock. Yeah. I she can't go back to ancient history. Partner. How can you remember so long? Now I'll have to get drunk, Edie. I'll have school. to start drinking. I can't take it. Oh, she'll make a drunkard out of her mother. What crackers do you want? We'll take these. Do you mind? They're very good. You want these? I don't like crackers, you know that. Just put a lemon on it, a little lemon. Don't you know who Max there? Gordon is? He's a famous producer. You've heard of him, haven't you? Discovered Judy Holliday or Holliday. He discovered Judy Holliday. He said I was much funnier. You haven't been funny today, boy. You're lacking in humor. It's how you are when you grow older. I needed training. Where was I to get the training? You start when you're 12. I had mine when I was 12. This crack is for the photographer. Tell me what, what I should have done. Here, would you put this away, please, Edie? I should have immediately tried to get into frozen. something. So it gets frozen, will you? David, Stop instead it. of coming home, I should have tried to get into something. Is that it? You think uh, I should have gotten David, in? do you think you and me right now work, should have told Edie to lose weight? She'd been in do you think I should have gotten in a nightclub work? And where's your mother thing? I had my father was alive. Out. That was it. Was my father was around. alive. I was going around with a that. Belt. My father was alive. You want to hear what Mr. I had Mr. Beale would have had me committed. 
fooled and I were eating every day to go to Tripagan. She could do anything. She could learn toe dancing, she could learn radio, she could learn all sorts of stage dancing. Why was she could do this? Uh, the things we told we told you to go to Bendel's and I had to go with my mother sitting here. Your head was so with my mother sitting here. And you had you were so gorgeous in hats and you had such a beautiful face. And we always adored you. And you said, Why well, should we she could do hats and she had gorgeous feet. And Mr. Beale always made her wear a certain kind of shoe when she was a little girl. Orthopedic shoe. And she she could have responsibility for you, mother. I was taking care of her for twenty five years. Uh, the hallmark of aristocracy is responsibility, is that it? I can't spend this winning these tents in the first place. I can't. I just can't. I can't spend another winter out here in the country. I can't do it. I don't enjoy it. Furthermore, I'm telling you, I can't get my figure back unless I hit New York City. You know, that icebox is too near. I've got to get away from that icebox. is a place for you. Get on the stage in Paris at the Fully yeah, Beijing. The point the is Beijing. that I came down here to take care of my mother. I was sick and tired of worrying about her night and day. Well, I had a very good man. I was away man. from her for I had a very good years, man. And I was sick and tired of I had a very good man to take care of me. You know, he took care of me. Wondering what was happening to my mother. For 25 years. She didn't have to worry. Who was the man that took care of you for 25 years? 23 Nobody years. Nobody took care of her for 25 years. I took care of this damn I'm, house for 25 years. I dare really say my mother was ever taken care of by any man but my father, and I'll push you under the goddamn bed. No, Edie, I think Alan was referring to Gould. Yes, he was. He took care of mother by accompanying her to the movies and playing the piano. Took care of me and the washing. No one there. took care of Mrs. Beale. She yeah, had my yeah. father's money and her own oh, money, no, the Bouvier money. And yeah, another thing, Mrs. Like Beale anymore. wasn't taken care of sexually. I think he was nicer than anybody I've ever known in my whole life. He was a writer. He wrote seven books at one time. He's brilliant. And he played the piano magnificently and composed exquisite music and dedicated about 80 songs to me. Edie didn't have to. No, she you. didn't have to worry the way she did. No. She made no, me she leave the bar bazaar. Well, well, I thought you'd been in New York long enough. You were getting lines in your but face. I didn't you didn't want to oh. leave. I was getting my big chance. Oh, no, you were not. That married man was not oh, going to give you any chance at all. At you were not. 52. I was going to get it. Well, you didn't get it. You missed out. I was oh, just no. getting oh, up so what you call now, a little listen, you, you 
wasting that thing on this? Because it's, it's, it's just nuts. When she said I had to come home. Well, I home. thought you should come home. Well, anyway, she started my impression for me to come back in March of 1952, when she kept it up until the end of July. On July 29th, well, I checked out, down. got very on the train, New York, came back, July and was never time. able to get back. It's very, uh, it's very uh, hot in New York on July 29th. You do know it? Sure. You uh, sing it for me. The sing. night was young and young. No, you and the night and the music. Sing that song. I don't know that. I thought you, I thought you had the night and the music. He knows it. It's I gone. Know. I don't know the rest of it. Fill me with flaming desire. The words are wonderful. Love like yours and mine is a glowing thrill of sparkling wine. Make the most of time ere it has flown. You're the night and the music thrill me with flaming desire, setting my being completely on fire. Oh, you and the night and the music. Dance till the music is through. I forgot. Oh, listen, this is it yet. Love. Till the moment is through. After the night and the music die, will I? Where's Joe, Edie? Edie I don't are? know, Mother. That's what I'm wondering. Don't you think you better find him? My mother wants me to watch him oh, the mother. whole time he's in no, the house. No, you told me not to have him back here. Like I watched Tom. No, thanks. My eyes dropped out. Mother and her friends. I never cared for the three people that my mother liked. I couldn't get on with Mr. Beale, and I didn't care for her composer friend. And as for Tom Logan, he drove me crazy in the house. I love Tom. He played the guitar so beautifully. He sang, he was in Rodeo, and he even was in Hollywood. You'd have to admire somebody like that. She was a pushover. He had no And then place he asked my go. mother, he said, I've just been fired from the sea spray. Would, would you like a maintenance man? Mother took him home. I didn't want a maintenance That's man. I said, I'll Tom take you Logan. home for one night. That's the story of what Tom I said. Logan. Um, there wasn't a thing he, he didn't know how to do. He could fix anything, lights. Plumber thing. He knew how to do everything. This one was terribly clever man. Didn't he work? He made good salads, but he was drunk. Oh no. We came up here every morning at six o'clock. Knocked on my door. We talked over the menu for the day, including a half a bottle of rose and Vienna, or wine, or whatever it's called. Naturally, you couldn't get rid of him, and I had to stay here. What well, I should have done was leave, and he would have left. Well, all right, you don't believe in religious compulsion. It was a religious thing. If I'd left, he would have left. No, and I, I deserve it. Would have been well, he much. didn't want to go. All alone in the house for Tom. He didn't all want. I had to do was leave. I'm so stupid. That well, I where would I have been? I'd been all alone in the house. I think you would have, Mother. Why? Marble Fawn is at the door. He can wait. Let Jerry in. Hurry up. I'm gonna look at this path without Jerry. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. This is a sea of leaves. A complete sea of leaves. If you lose something, you can't find it again. It drops to the bottom. I lost my scarf. I'll never get it again. Best scarf I ever owned. Most beautiful color blue. It dropped. 
You know, it fell off my head. What the hell with the marble? Hello? Oh, hello, Jerry, darling. Do you want to come in? Yeah, I just came for the faucet so I can get right out to the hardware store. Yeah, Mother said you called up. Was that you on the phone very early? Yeah. How are you? I'm looking at you now. Really well. I'll come down and let you in. Do you want to come up here? Do you want to come up? All right, for a moment. Mother's screaming to let to have have me let you in. I better do it. I'll be out the back door here, okay? I'll come right down. Jerry is puffing and blowing. No, I'm tired. I don't want to get any tired. What do you want, Jerry? Who wants a nice piece of corn? No, I don't want any, thank you. Jerry, you didn't get enough to eat tonight. No, I can't resist. I'm sorry. I'm watching. Jerry, you're going to put some of this on, aren't you? Yeah. You want to do it for me? Why, yeah. Pleasure is all mine. If I don't burn myself. Which piece of corn do you want, Jerry? Doesn't matter. See how polite he is. You want some, Edie? Where's your Come plate, Jerry? I got very big hands. <laughs> Come on, I was world. Oh, did I do it nicely? He always compliments me on the way I do my corn. <laughs> there they are. There you raccoons. Run away from your drinks and do that to your raccoons. Sloths, otters, badgers, uh, possums, raccoons. I don't need the bags anymore. Because I had to get up 200 cellophane bags. This uh, horrors. Somebody's removing the books from my room. Where did this little book come from? Well, Jerry has his luck himself out. He's around there. Who got this book out of my room? I cleaned this whole attic up the other day. Now, who's been dropping books around is what I want to know. I would have seen that book. No, we lost the glasses. The glasses are gone. Next thing, those antiques will all be missing. You see, okay. you shouldn't have a contact with the outside world because how do I know that there isn't something up in that room? If you get what I mean. You can't tell what's been put up in that room or what's been taken out. Don't worry so much, please. Cat's going to the bathroom. Isn't right in back of my portrait. Oh, isn't that awful? No, I'm glad he is. I'm glad somebody's doing something they want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was from 
frozen this morning when I woke up. Are you eating? It did drop. Drop. I missed you last night. Yeah, drop quite a bit. I was so lonely. She only left me one little kitty to keep me warm. And all these blankets were on the floor. There's all this pile of stuff here. Uh, Jerry's pretty good waiting on me. He can find things here that I, I wouldn't find for half an hour. <laughs> Jerry, the major domo. Lowe's I'm so sick of that there. kid. <laughs> I mean, I, I no, have no, great pity well, you know for him, and I like no, him, so but... You, you know the trouble. What? Uh, the trouble is that he's madly in love with Edie. I said I thought Edie was madly in love with him. On me. He might as well leave right now, because he's never going to get it. So that's yeah, it. Sex with you? What he's after. He doesn't want any sex with you. Well, that's old, all they're after. Old person like that's you? That's all they're yeah. after. So why don't you tell him I'm right of, now? I'm heard of. You should tell him right now, well, so I'm not bothered by him. He's got about six girls in East Ham, and he's all busy No, but every the night. point is, he thinks... What he was doing is out every single night with a different girl. Yeah, but that, that's the point, you see. He had a wonderful time. He's got to be here for years and years. He enjoys himself thoroughly, I hope. <laughs> the guy's going to be here for years and years. <laughs> I doubt It's going to be one of those things. Like Tom Logan. Aren't you going to feed the Whiskers, Edie? Come on, go in and feed Whiskers. Now, don't eat it. Give it to Whiskers, please. We're fine. You want to get them, But she's you? very mean to me. No, I have to be very strict. The priest said she needed a very strict hand. <laughs> well, the priest don't have She in the short needs a very strong hand, your daughter. Come on. Tried to give it over, huh? After Mr. Beale, you know, stopped living in East Hampton. I had a terrible hard time reading. She just went wild after her. I thought that wasn't living here. It was wild. It was wild. I couldn't do anything with it at all. Isn't it awful when the dancer gets back? Isn't it awful? God, it's awful, I'm telling you. It's awful. My father believed in running the children's lives. You know, he wanted me to get my master's degree, be a junior partner in his law firm. Take the ice cream. cream. He was 165 Broadway. I'm On the ninth side. floor, my knees would start to shake. Coming By the down time I got to the ninth floor in Mr. Beale's office, my knees were rattling, my mouth was dry. You were scared of your father. And I'd go in, and he'd come forward out of his office with his watch in his hand, and then he'd look at the clock on the wall and say, you're five minutes late, he'd say. Oh, my God. No, he had a very And then he'd sit down and he'd look at me like this and he'd say, take it off. Take that hat off. Take that lipstick off. Take that nail polish off. Oh, How no, dare no. you wear those high heels? She's acting all over the place. Don't you want some of this? Butter pecan. Mm. Mm -hmm. He said the only thing to be was a professional woman. He did say that. Well, I wouldn't say it's the only thing. He didn't want me to get married. I don't think people should get married. I don't believe in it at all. If you can't get a man to propose to, you might as well be dead. Well, I don't think it's important. I just disgusting. Now, Mary had the most wonderful life. Absolutely disgusting. Lived to be women 90, to be alive. 94 years of age. The what are they proving? They have to go around with dogs or other women or something? That dogs are lovely. I just tell them. I'll take a dog any day. Why didn't you marry the man you wanted to, like I did? I think the saddest thing was my not marrying into the Obolensky family, because I adore them. Mm. Any Obolensky is mm. wonderful. That's all I can say. He's a very sweet man. He's related to the Obolenskys. He's okay. I didn't know he was any relation to them. Yes. Never know. Serge's uh, uh, nephew by his half-sister. Now, there was a boy I might have married. Why didn't you marry Paul Geddes? And I said, how did you happen to come here? And he said, oh, I saw you at a dance, he said, in Southampton. I said, you did? He said, yeah. He was just a kid. He was 32. And I said, Eugene, well, you need a girl. And he said, no, he said, I'm looking for a wife. He said, I want to get married. I thought yeah, that was so cute. Yeah, he wanted to so take you to Westchester. Wasn't that cute? <laughs> Tom had just died. And I did not want another man in my kitchen with and a cookbook. And I went downstairs. I peered at his face. He just made a cookbook. He just written a cookbook. Mother got rid of him. 
15 minutes. Go on, any cookbooks. Mother got rid of him 15 minutes because he came from a celebrated family. Well, he's very glad The Tiskevich family. And I suppose Mother didn't want me to have anybody that was decent. I didn't want understand. anybody in the kitchen. It would have been perfectly all right for me to marry Tom Logan. Why do you want to marry a kid 32? He's oh, I forgot a... to say that Eugene didn't was a count. Jeans. I would have been Countess, Countess Edith. I didn't want my child to be taken away. She have entirely alone. You know what I go through with this awful stuff? Well, you know me, you're always hungry. I'm not going to gain the weight back. Put some lipstick on. These are my brother's drawers, and I feel so strongly about my mentos and everything because of mother that I was never able to ever clean out these desk drawers and throw the stuff away. Would you believe it? You know, it's childhood stuff. And what do they call it? Me memorabilia or something. I couldn't throw anything away. Now, looking at this room. Yeah, just a minute. They discovered something terrific in here. Oh, no, is that Austria? I can't see. Why, what happened? The moving finger writes and having written moves on. I was going to write another line from Omar Khayyam. We come like water and we go like wind. Oh, I got that one off. That's the man, this is the woman. I can't tell. Are you taking me to do the I'm putting up the, the silver mask. Hey, come here, baby, hurry. I can't get the thumbtack in the wall. Oh my God, the saddest life. Oh, yeah. I could go on with the redecoration of this room. Yeah. All right. Those are roses of all different years. My shell collection. You can't see it. It's so dirty. Isn't that tragic? That's the, then I have two little things to go there. And around the world is supposed to go there. I'm just going to put that up there because I like red in this room for some reason. Then I was going to hang the bird cage right here and have a round the world there. But I haven't gotten to that. Perhaps I better begin taking care of mother and bossing her and cooking her some food. What do you boys think? Bossing her around. Yeah, I let, I let her do what she wants. I think maybe I ought to give her cooked meals at certain hours. What do you think? I don't have any clock. You know, I never know what time it is. You think she'd eat them? I don't know. You know her better than anybody. I give her a head. I let her do what she wants to do. I think it's awful. She, she should eat, you know, chopped meat and a baked potato at a certain hour for lunch. Then have a nice little dinner. But that takes timing. No, I'm not ready, and I have no makeup on. <laughs> but things are getting better. Did you find my sign in bathtub? Right. I couldn't believe it. Come on in. We're not ready. Is that Al down there? Yeah. Hello, Al. Hi. Please, Ron. Oh, God, I almost took it. Almost broke my neck then. God, he said it is. Oh. <laughs> Funny. I feel funny. No. It's like a night at the opera. 
Is it? The night of the opera will be when I get in that chair in the dining room. That will be the night of the opera. Mother Lois and Jack are here. Hello, Jack. Come on, Happy Birthday. Larry Poop wanted me to go. I say, thank you. Where's the cushion, Edie? Get your cushion out. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, you're very cute to celebrate with me today. But I, I, I like you in that costume, Lois. Oh, I oh, do. I see Edie hasn't done. You better not sit in those chairs. They look very dirty. No. Here, they can know. sit on paper. I thought you were going to clean up, Edie. I tried. I swept the... Uh, oh, the Lord. Lord. Well, I'm kind of disappointed. Jack, you don't mind sitting by me, do you? I swept the floor. We <laughs> have wine. I'll bring down the glasses. Bring down the wine, please. And Edie's too, uh, Lois is too ginger ale. But don't let the cats out. How do you like the thing Lois did for me, Jack? Are your eyes good enough to see that? Well, how are your eyes? Oh, my God. <laughs> She's no waitress, I'll tell you. Well, she's got a pretty heavy tray. Leave the tray here, won't you? Oh, no, she's not going to. She's going to do just as you want, you know. She's a trash waitress. They always do just as they want. It's your mother. May she live to be at least 80. No, oh, there's one more year. Ha, ha, ha. Right. She's in her 79. She's in her 79. Yeah, 79th year. She's going to tell that to everybody in East Hampton, you know. Well, that's right. Everybody's going to know my age. Well, happy birthday. Thank you, Thank you very much. Sing the happy oh, birthday. Oh, oh, oh. Sing it. Come on, you can do it again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Why do we have to have paper cups when I wanted my I wanted my green goblets with all the gold on them and she wouldn't bring them down. So disappointed on my birthday. Did you ever see anything like that? Oh, Happy oh, birthday. Gorgeous. Imagine having red. That's terrific. Somebody's calling me, Eddie. My sister ordered that. I'll take on. Yeah. Hey, Mother, can you, can you move your chair a little bit? Yeah. This is the first time we used the long water in the dining room. Oh, hello, Polly. I got the Thank, Thank you, dear. Are you going to sing it all the way through? <laughs> Listen, I got your beautiful present. Uh, Edie, have you brought the present down yet? Yeah, yeah, we're, going to open it. we're sitting down here in the so-called old... What, dear? We have not many presents yet. Didn't you? It's a great big box up there. Tremendous box, but we have no presents. Well, you sent me a card. I got that. I don't think she did send one a card. We shall and shall have the card. <laughs> I haven't started the cake, but I'll read you what it says. It says, uh, what does it say, Jack? Edith, happy Same birthday, Edith. Oh, it says, happy birthday, Edith. Same. And that's all in red. Yes. And then yes. the flowers underneath are, well, yellow flowers with green. It's perfectly enormous cake. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, dear. Here. You take a box. That's the girl you hated. You take a box. Yeah. Are they both having eye trouble? They See? freeze your eyes so now. They both had an operation. They both had two operations. And then they weren't good either. One lost her eye, one did. Yeah, the oil dies. It disappeared. It dried up and disappeared. No, I she had double vision. No, she had to be doctor. It's cured. Oh, the cat. Absolutely cured, Edie. She's cured now. Did she say she was cured? Yes, she said her eyes were really wonderful. The really nice thing to have is get deaf and get blind and then have some cancer come in your face and your lips. Cancer. Cancer. On your lips. Don't have you don't have that. Don't go blind and be deaf. Well, 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 that cancer is worse. Yeah. yeah. You want to open my little presents and then yeah, I'll... Yeah, I am. Edie, do you ever uh, see anything as cute as this? A little pad there to write your requests on. You know, I need that more than anything to write things down. I have uh, my things written all over boxes, all over the bed. Everywhere. I got Epstein's uh, address. I got, who have I got, baby? 
All the electricians in East Hampton. All of them. Isn't that a nice book of you? I can't be late now, and I can't forget, and I can't hate anybody, and I can't do anything. This little book is going to keep me straight. Straight as a die. Isn't that a nice one? I haven't had a little thing like that in ages. I had a one before. Your hands are cold. It did you no good, my food. Oh, no. Your hands are cold, lady. Well, I, I must be on my course, I guess. Well, so long, folks. Thank you for your card and your ice cream. I love you very much. Turn the heat off. He's terribly hot in here. <laughs> Your room's terribly dirty. It's got to be clean. Not tonight, Geraldine. Oh, I can hardly sit here. I love that smell. I thrive on it. it. Makes me feel good. We have to hang the portrait and clean the room. No, he pull the chair him. out. He wants to look at it. I'm not ashamed of anything. Where well, my body is a very precious place. It's concentrated ground. <laughs> concentrated. What are they doing? Take a picture of Edie. Oh, I know what I could have. Oh, for goodness sakes, he is my God. They seem as, um, you know, you don't seem as I see myself, but, but you're very good what you do see me as. I mean, it's okay. Are you pleased with those pictures? You know, I see myself as a little girl. And all that. And I see you as a very immature child. You know, she sees me as a baby, and I see myself <laughs> some kind of a little girl. They see me as a woman. I don't. I don't see them. Well, when I get out of here, I do. You know, when, I go New, when I go to New York City, I'm, I see myself as a woman. But in here, I'm just, you know, mother's little di little daughter. I doubt that very much. You want to play all of the record I bought you? Virginia Military Institute. My God, I can't get over this. I really can't. And you can't dance at all. Why oh, can't I? I never saw you do anything military. Never. Why are you absolutely crazy? There's not anything I can't do. before this. Well, then you had your mother. Yeah. But they're more interested. Good Lord. I can't believe it. It's 145. Here, Kitty, I got a big, nice piece of white. Here, Kitty. Here. Hey, Kitty. Like that? 
That's nice. No bones in that one. Well, that's a pretty song, Don't Throw Bouquets at Me. Uh, you know, that was, I was trying to think of the words of that. Bouquets. No, don't throw bouquets at me. me. Don't. Don't what? Hurry up. Mm. Don't what? Your lips Oh, no, mine. that's not it. No, you're way off the beat there. Don't. No. Dad, go to the mm. bottom of the cast. Mm. No, that isn't there. Do no. Mind. no, that isn't it. People will say we're in a law. Oh, she didn't say love. You're not Czechoslovakian. Love. Mm -hmm. You don't say love. Mm -hmm. You say that. Uh, you see, she's, she knows she sings so badly that she has to wiggle about 20 times to every mm -hmm. note. You see, to distract the people, you know, that she really can't mm -hmm. sing a drop. I can sing like mad. Well, sing beautifully. You're singing incorrectly. Very ugly. Always must do everything correctly. Now start at the top now. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, don't throw bouquets at me. Don't make funny faces. My now that's what I want the next line. Ah, oh, much too much. Oh no, You're way mm -hmm. off there. Mm -hmm. No, that's not it. No, a hearty doesn't make up for a lot of words you can't remember. No, no. Oh, don't don't do that. Oh, me singing can love. Where in the hell did you come from? I'm going to bed. Okay. I love you very much, both of you. But yeah. now I, I leave to my pillow and I'm in agony. Why'd you lose know, my pillow, Edie? From inside, so I can sleep. And that night, want to weep. I'm a getting tired. So I can do do do. Lily Marlene, down around the lamp post <laughs> in the um, something. La da da di da da di da 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 da. If I only knew the words, Marlene Dietrich. Down around the lamp post. It's Lily Marlene. That's an old war song, Mother. I tried to get you. I called and called and called. Oh, yeah? I guess you went oh, out. How's everything? Then I called again. You were busy. What's guess what's happened? What? what I what I felt was in the cards, you oh. know, and I'm telling you, I'm not gonna spend another ten years this with this. You know, I spent ten years with the last. You mean Tom Logan? What is what? it now? Huh? The marble fawn is moving in. Who is? The marble fawn. Jimmy. Oh. He just gave us a washing machine. That cements the deal. I gotta get out of here. I better spend the rest of my life washing clothes. Don't blame him. It's a very nice washing machine. It came from this house they're gonna sell. You know, he had a job as a gardener's assistant at this house. And they're gonna sell the house, so they gave him the washing machine. But he's moving in. Uh. I can't watch him, I'm telling you. Of course, he's still gonna have the gardening job. You know, but I think he gets home at four o'clock. So Mother says, do you want to come in and speak to Mother? She'd like to speak to you. Come on in. I'm pulverized by this latest thing. What well, you do? A beautiful face like a girl. Like you look like my mother. Absolute image of my mother, Jerry. Jerry, you're not going to drink anything, are you? No. What, what are you going to have? I'll wait for the chicken. You're waiting for the chicken? Mm -hmm. You mean to say you're not going to have soup or a drink or highball or something like that? 
I think we better have some rum. Oh, no, she didn't put any papers on that thing today. I asked her to. Jerry, I'm badly treated all along. I think my days at Grey Gardens are limited. I sing only a rose now, Rita. You ought to be able to do that. Go on, sing it. Only a rose. Only a rose. Only a rose. I give you only a rose. Dying away. Dying away. Only a rose. To keep the nun. To keep it on me. 
mean anybody that doesn't like music. Do you, Molly? Because I can't stand them. Finally, I can't stand them. There's something lacking, and it's music, isn't it? I mean, a man. Well, yeah, it's nice to have a man who can play the piano for you. Oh, no, that isn't it all. She doesn't get it. Then you can practice. Unless the man understands music, there's no point in my even meeting him, because I never could figure out what was wrong. You know, the stockbrokers and tennis players. And... <laughs> I tell you, who was a songwriter and a dancer and a, and a playwright and everything, uh, Eugene Tiskevich, but Mother got rid of him in 15 minutes. But you didn't even try his cooking. Very well. He'd only been here you seven didn't even try his cooking. He made a poison. He might have poisoned you the first night. He's nasty. He's nothing, but you want to marry a stranger? Very decent guy. I looked up his, his horse. You want to marry a stranger? He was stranger? born November the 14th. I have to go in now, kid. Very kidding. wonderful boy. Too young for me, probably. Who 32. Is this? Eugene Tiskevich. I he couldn't was a twin. stand having another cook in this that house. That isn't the point. <laughs> and he actually proposed under the window. He had no home. He was living in a third class hotel. Under the window. window. You know what I'm saying? He said, Edith, if you want to get married, I'll marry you. And I think that was decent. Don't I, I don't know. see why. Probably wouldn't happen. Just the same. Not one person had entered Grey Gardens for many years before Eugene Diskevich came around. So I credit him with all the nerve in the world. But nobody would even speak to us. People that worked for one of the Maidstone Club with for years. Don't believe it. Don't believe a word of it, kid. Oh, I don't believe it. If your father could hear you in eternity, grave, you'd say, my God, baby. Well, anyway, I think you were very cruel, mother. He well, came from one of the best nice. families in Poland. Everybody. And he was related to the Obolenskis, and I think it's terrible. Everybody. She give me a chance with you, James. Gave a I think that was absolutely cruel. Well, he was the only one no. away. You want to marry me? I don't care. care. I'm the only oh. one besides these oh. horrible oh. people oh. that oh. came oh. around. No, 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 no. He was only 32 and from a very <laughs> good family. 32 and she got rid of him in 15 minutes flat. No, he didn't. He said And I'm bored with all these awful people like truth. Jerry and all those people. That wasn't the truth. No. That wasn't the truth. That was not the truth. But no, that was not the truth. He said, how could such a warm, lovely person over the telephone turn into anything so cold? That's what he said right now. Oh, I said, I said, you better go home. Never say goodbye or anything. How could such a warm, lovely woman over the telephone turn into something so cold? I thought that was just a little too much. Uh, I tell you the whole thing. You might as well face it. It's my mother's house, and she owns it, and she wanted the people she wanted in it, and she didn't want the people that I wanted in it. But God knows whom I wanted in it. I mean, besides Eugene. And Mother wouldn't allow Eugene to stay even 15 minutes. But I had to spend 10 years with Tom Logan. And now we have Jerry, who is Mother's friend. So you just can't do anything about it. So I can see now why girls get married. You know, they're forced into it. It's all a question of who you want to stay with. Of course, I'm mad about animals, but raccoons and cats become a little bit boring. I mean, for too long a time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I better check on Mother and the cat. She's a lot of fun. I hope she doesn't die. I'd hate to spend the winter here, though. Oh, God. Another winter. Any little rat, any little rat's nest in New York, any little mouse hole, any little rat hole, even on 10th Avenue, I would like better.
I am so smart.